On June 18, 2023, Titan, a submersible operated by Ocean Gate, went missing in international waters in the North Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Newfoundland, Canada. The submersible was on a tourist expedition to view the wreckage of the RMS Titanic, with five individuals on board, including the founder and CEO of Ocean Gate, Stockton Rush. Due to the estimated three days of oxygen supply, there was a huge rescue effort by the U.S. Coast Guard and Canada's Coast Guard, which was unsuccessful until early on June 22, when evidence of the wreckage of the vessel started to emerge. This led to the tragic conclusion that the vessel imploded in the ocean depths, and there were no survivors. Let's start with what we know about the company operating the Titan and Submersible. Ocean Gate Incorporated is a privately held U.S. company operating out of Everett, Washington, that provides crewed submersibles for the tourism industry and research and exploration. The company was founded in 2009 by Stockton Rush and Guillermo Solon. Stockton Rush, the founder of Ocean Gate, wanted to be an astronaut. After working as a flight test engineer, he decided to pursue undersea exploration. He was married to Wendy Rush, a descendant of Isidore and Ida Strauss, two people who passed away on the sinking of the Titanic. The Titanic sits on the ocean floor at about 12,500 feet below sea level, with the bow and stern more than 2,600 feet apart. The wreckage is 400 miles off the coast of Newfoundland in Canada. To put this depth into perspective, imagine laying on your back with a one foot by one foot board. At 100 meters, 328 feet, the size of a soccer or football field, the weight on that board would be 20,880 pounds. The Ocean Gate Titan was rated for a maximum dive depth of about 4,000 meters, making it one of the deepest diving submarines in operation. But this depth is still far from the deepest parts of our oceans, which have been reached by humans. Now let's talk about the red flags that plagued Ocean Gate from the beginning. The design limitations of the Titan, such as the hatch being bolted from the outside, raised concerns about the passenger's ability to open it in an emergency. The submersible also lacked GPS or a locator beacon, relying solely on data from the surface support vessel for navigation. Ocean Gate claimed partnerships and endorsements from prominent figures and organizations in the marine industry, but these claims were later found to be exaggerated or misleading. Stockton Rush, the CEO of Ocean Gate, defended the company's practices, stating that they followed industry standards and regulations. He acknowledged the limitations of the Titan but emphasized that the submersible had successfully completed numerous dives in the past without incident. Following the tragic incident, a comprehensive investigation was launched to determine the cause of the submersible's implosion. The investigation team recovered debris from the ocean floor, including fragments of the submersible's hull and mechanical components. Through meticulous analysis and simulations, the investigators discovered a combination of factors that led to the catastrophic implosion of the Titan. It was revealed that a structural flaw in the submersible's hull, coupled with the immense pressure at that depth, caused a critical failure in the integrity of the vessel. The flaw in the hull's design created a weak point that could not withstand the extreme pressures of the deep sea environment. Over time, this weakness worsened, eventually leading to the collapse of the hull under the immense pressure, resulting in the implosion. Experts and engineers criticized OceanGate for not conducting thorough testing and inspection of the submersible's structural integrity. In the aftermath of the investigation, legal action was taken against OceanGate and Stockton Rush. The loss of the Titan and its crew was a devastating event that shook the marine exploration community. Lessons were learned, and improvements were made to prevent such tragedies in the future. But it serves as a somber reminder that even with advancements in technology, the depths of the ocean remain a harsh and unforgiving environment.